I am expecting my first ever oh my god hi guys <laughs> y'all are probably looking like girl what is happening what's going on i feel like you came back and you just be doing shit y'all i cut my hair off i cut my hair off <laughs> but yes y'all i cut my hair off hold on let me see the lighting Y'all like it this bright or should we go down a little bit? Should we do? Is it giving this? I feel like this is dark. I don't know. Okay. It's okay. We'll just do it like this. But, y'all, your girl cut her hair off. I'm officially bald. It's crazy saying that. Like, yo. <laughs> I guess this is the new me. The new and improved. I, I don't know. Y'all, I promise you I'm not going through nothing. I just wanted to try something new. I was tired of having hair on my head. Like, I was over it. It was just, it just wasn't the move anymore. So, that was that. But, y'all, this is an overdue, a long, 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 long overdue video, okay? Um, so... Sorry if my chair is making noise. Like, I don't know. It's just squeaking. It's bothering me. But it's okay. So, you guys. I don't know how I want to get comfortable. But I'm going to get there. But, you guys. This is videos really is overdue. I feel like I should have been came out here. Been came addressed some things. I should have been told y'all what's the tea. What's the moves. What's going on with Muffy ZR. Like, what's up? okay so for let's just start off with for those who are new here hi my name is ariel but you can call me muffy um at least that's what all my friends and my family call me because that's the name i grew up being called but it's whatever that's that um i'm 21 years old i'm currently residing in europe germany um not by choice by law <laughs> Okay, um, I am in the United States Army. I'm an active duty soldier. Um, I'm married. <laughs> we 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 gonna get on all to the we gonna get in all the tea, okay, y'all. We we gonna jump right into it. Okay. All right, y'all. So to start off with, your girl joined the army. I joined the army. Um, straight out of high school. A lot of people did not even know I was going in. I didn't really tell a lot of people those who went to my school kind of knew because we had this whole award ceremony and they announced i was going to the military and that's literally how everybody found out everybody nobody knew that's how everybody found out close friends everybody found out like that okay um so yeah i joined the military i've been in the military for three years now um my time is coming to a pause not an end but my time in the military is coming to a pause soon um I do plan on going reserves towards the end of this year um, when my contract is done. Um, I plan on commissioning as an officer when I come back in, but as for right now, I can't do the enlisted side. The enlisted side is ghetto as shit, okay? I, I don't, I can't deal with people talking to me crazy no more, y'all. I can't do it. I can't deal with being on other people's time. I can't deal with none of that. I need to be, I need more rank to my chest. I just feel like... Me becoming an officer and doing something I really enjoy while being in the military is going to be amazing. Because just to start off with, the army is easy. The military point blank period is easy as fuck. Okay, it's an easy as a 9 to 5 set salary paycheck. Girl, even if I don't go to work, I'm still getting paid. Okay, the army is really easy. It's really, really easy. And I think that anybody who's young and don't really know like what they want to do with their life... I do recommend that you guys join the military because for one you get to travel you meet people around the world you it's just it's a great opportunity especially if you want to get away from home the military is the way 
So that's just a little army update. Your girl does plan on going reserves, plans on going ROTC, plans on going officer out. That's that. Still currently active duty till November, but yeah, we'll get into that a little bit more in the next video probably. Okay. <laughs> Another thing is I got married. Oh my God. A lot of people be like, Oh, are you just calling him your husband in your videos? Like, da da da, moved in with him. Like, is that your boyfriend? But you just be calling. No, y'all, I am legally married. <laughs> I'm legally married. My last name is changed and everything. Like, I've been married for almost. I've been married for almost three years. <laughs> hold on. Wait, hold on, y'all. I've been married for over two years now. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna look so bad, baby. You know this, I love you, but we gonna get into why I can't think right now. Further on the video, we gonna get to why my brain is all scrambled. But I've been married for a good minute now, and I love my husband. He's the sweetest thing ever. I feel like he is the reason why I am where I am right now. He's like part of the reason. He's just amazing. He treats me so well. He's just. Just a great person overall. He loves me. He gives me that money on. Just like no, nah, but no, he do. But <laughs> um, yeah, like I'm just happy. This is a happy marriage. It's not no contract marriage. It's not no trying to get money marriage. No, this is real. We worry about what make us happy, and what make us happy is our business. Okay, period. But yeah, I'm married, and yeah that's that update there's nothing to it like the married life is great the married life is wonderful i just love sharing everything with my husband like we have joint accounts like girl i would have never thought i would have a joint account with another person like it's crazy y'all like this adult shit is real but yeah we got married moved into our first place together we live in an apartment um and life is great. I love it. I cook for my man. I clean for my man. Please, my man. I love my man. My man, my man, my man, my man, my man. Because he spoiled me. <laughs> On to the next topic. So, I know you guys see my vlog. Okay, those who, like, this is your first video watching me. Like, you guys haven't seen it. But those who, like, you know, keep up with me. Like, you know, support him. Um, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, <laughs> on y'all. Okay. I am pregnant, you guys. I am expecting my first ever baby. Ooh, oh my god. Me yelling just made me have to pee, and I don't want to pause this video. I'm pregnant. Um, I'm excited, young mommy, but you know what? I did it the right way, so I'm not really worried. Um, everybody's like happy for me. His family is excited, my family's excited, like everybody's just excited. Um, just a little backstory on this journey. I didn't think I could get pregnant. Listen, <laughs> I didn't think I could get pregnant to the point where I had to go to a doctor to see a specialist and ask them like hey is there anything wrong with me <laughs> like just to like see you know um baby wasn't planned or anything well this baby wasn't planned but i just wanted to know like can i get pregnant like i didn't think so so i went to see the specialist and i'm out of breath <sighs> okay i went to see a specialist and basically they told me like they did a little thingy thing all that and they basically told me like you look like a healthy young person we don't see why you wouldn't be able to get pregnant um everything looks good there was just like this one little thing that like would like um you know probably like affect my chances of getting pregnant like so if i was to have kids in the future just the idea of knowing like okay boom that test might come out positive but if the, am i gonna carry this pregnancy to at least the first trimester is like you know i don't know how to explain it y'all but basically that's a whole nother 
thing for a whole nother video once again like a lot of these stuff like I'm updating guys are just like a summary because a lot of this stuff goes in depth but that's that um so yeah that was that I got pregnant after seeing a specialist and this was back in August and well no I got pregnant back in July like the ending of June beginning July and I ended up having a miscarriage due to the reason I just said like the whole thing I was trying to explain but don't really want to say nothing yeah I ended up having a miscarriage and that broke me so bad that broke me so bad because that right there was the cherry on top to me saying okay it's really f them kids i don't want no fucking kids because this is just too much right that's how i was feeling in the moment and my husband you know he's like i said he's a great man y'all he's a loving man very respectful he treats me like a queen he was just like you know what if you don't want to go through the stress of having to even like carry your baby and like you know be on this emotional roller coaster he said he was good for adopting so in my head i'm like i'm thinking okay a few years from now that's probably what we're gonna do we're just gonna have to adopt all our kids y'all three months later could you not three months later right me and my husband was beefing we was beefing so bad y'all it was bad but we was beefing and turns comes to find out as we like settling the beef i'm like okay so what it is what's up like you <laughs> You still rocking with me or what? He, you know, type shit. And we loved each other. You know, we hugged it out, kissed it out. Like, the beef was done. That same exact night, I was cramping. And I was like, these are don't feel like menstrual cramps. Took a pregnancy test. Took a pregnancy test. That shit was positive. Keep in mind, I wasn't taking a pregnancy test thinking I was pregnant. I didn't think I was pregnant. I took a pregnancy test trying to be funny, right? I was going to take the pregnancy test and be like, mm you ain't going nowhere because boom i'm pregnant with your baby right i was trying to be funny right y'all ain't no being funny that shit was positive for real like you really stuck with me babes <laughs> hold on y'all hold on hold on that shit was funny spot like y'all i don't know like that shit is crazy the way that how we found out i was pregnant was absolutely like that shit was like scripted out it was like it was a movie type shit right and at first, I didn't really believe it. Like, I seen pregnant, and I'm like, oh, shit. This shit look like it's a like, positive. I see a little line. But I thought I was tripping. I even held that shit up to the light. I, like, it was one of those stick tests. It wasn't, like, the clear blue or the little, um, it wasn't the clear blue or the, um, what you gonna call it? What's the other one? First response. It was, like, a paper. It was, like, a paper pregnancy test. And I had that from my first pregnancy when we was actually trying to get pregnant. And... I held, that up to the, I held that shit to the light. I said, is there a second line? I said, no, ain't no way. My husband came in the bathroom. He was like, you pregnant? He happy. He smiling. He jumping up and down. He like, you would have thought he was a big ass kid in the candy store, y'all. He take the test. He look at it. He's like, nah, baby, this ain't pregnant. You pregnant. You pregnant. He happy. He like, I'm like, nah, I don't think so. I think it's like a, <laughs> I think it's like an error, right? And then in already in the back of my head, I'm like, I don't even think this pregnancy gonna go through. I don't think this pregnancy gonna last. Like, that's in my head. Like, I'm not trying to get my hopes up because I'm not trying to go through that heartbreak all over again. Right? I go to the store next day. We get the test. We get the one that says pregnant, and then we get the line test. I wasn't worried about the one that says pregnant because... If you guys ever had a miscarriage before, then you know, like, your doctor will explain to you, like, if you do try to get pregnant again and stuff like that, what matters is your HCG levels. And your HCG levels will literally, basically not show on your pregnancy test, but that line, the darker it is, the higher your HC, HCG levels are. So that's all I wanted to see. I just wanted to see that line to see if it was getting darker. Because when my first pregnancy test, it was, like, always faint. It was never, like... A bright red color so um uh, with this pregnancy when we found out we was pregnant um and we went to the store and we got that test and then i took it so this is a store-bought test now that line was dark as shit could you fucking not i said oh and this is just like what 24 hours later 
and this test is went from being like a faint line to like extremely dark line and my first pregnancy was never like this i was like this oh i'm pregnant pregnant and i was like fuck it you know what and there was another line test i said i'm gonna wait a week waited a week took the line test and the clear blue derby's pregnant that shit was that shit was bold as fuck the, them two lines was bold as fuck and keep in mind the line test came up in like five seconds both bold as shit pregnancy the clear blue that reads pregnant y'all could you not that shit wasn't even loading for like 15 seconds that shit read pregnant i was like oh i'm pregnant pregnant went to the doctor they was like oh yeah your are i had to go to tmc for them to like confirm the pregnancy while you're in the military and to get that pregnancy profile y'all the doctors was like oh yeah you're pregnant your hcg levels are up there you're you're pregnant i was like oh my god and it, i just so happened to have a ob appointment um literally in a few days because the whole miscarriage thing they like to follow up with my, um they like to follow up with you like months prior to make sure your body is good and everything make sure like there's nothing no tissue or nothing left over from that right so i had already an appointment coming up went to the appointment um peter the cup doctor came in the room he's like do you know you're pregnant <laughs> i was like yes i found out literally like a week ago and he was like congratulations um i'm just gonna take a look to make sure there's like no extra tissue surrounding the new pregnancy or whatever and i was all good all good to go he literally showed us on the ultrasound he was like you see that little sack that's your gestational sack and that little dot thingy that's your baby and i was just like oh my freaking gosh like the fact that my baby made it to my uterus that's Whew. okay so i basically just told y'all this pregnancy the baby actually made it to the uterus like it got fertilized the egg got fertilized and it actually implanted itself in the uterus instead of somewhere else in my body so that that's basically what i was trying to explain earlier and i was just like oh my gosh so this pregnancy is actually gonna go through and i was just like, so excited because so no the, after seeing that is when i really got, started to get excited like how my husband was excited and boom we kept it a secret for a while eventually till we told our family and then the whole shebang bang bang went home they threw us a baby shower found out it was a i'm not did i tell you what it was oh yeah y'all know already it's a boy Found out it was a boy, hella excited. Oh my gosh, so that's that, so that's that. I'm gonna be a mom. I am so excited. I am, you know, I'm thrilled. And this is my rainbow baby. And the crazy thing is, my baby is actually gonna be born, was so, is supposed to be born on the day I actually had my miscarriage, which is so, weird to me it's not weird but it's just like oh my gosh you know like god really sent me my baby but that's that so that's the whole thing with me i'm pregnant i'm married i'm still in the army you guys um did i have any more updates i don't think da -da -da, marriage i have a wrote notes marriage went over the baby went over the army my hair that was the first thing we had to address because baby is a little too obvious right but yeah i'm excited for this journey and i hope you guys are excited with for me excited with me i'm yeah that's just everything that's been happening in my life i'm so blessed i thank god every day i pray every day and yeah that's just like a life update a little for those of you guys are new that's that's my life right now y'all i'm just chilling oh i got a dog i think you guys been knew that though maya's old news right she real bad though but yeah y'all so this is a life update i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um go ahead like comment subscribe share if you want to girl i ain't begging you to um stick around because this is only the beginning y'all this is a whole new start I hate the fact that I keep looking in the viewfinder. I need to look in the camera, right? But yeah, stay tuned, y'all, because we got more content coming out. You know, it's going to be more family videos, 
more beauty related videos more baby videos getting ready for baby videos y'all oh my gosh it's gonna be so much and then i plan on traveling more too especially with a kid like who wouldn't want to travel the world with their baby and be like hey you know when you're a baby you went here 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 and there it's a flex right so that's that but yeah you guys thank you for watching my video i really appreciate it i love you guys Mwah. <laughs>